been in business for 26 years this year, and um, the way we came to be in business here, that my grandparents owned a grocery store in this neighborhood, uh, one street over from the Bears Den. Um, my grandfather passed away um, in the early 70s. My grandmother took over the grocery store, and it was just became too much for her to handle, so my mother purchased the grocery store from her. And she had bought up some property in this area um, just over the many years that she ran that restaurant, and one of the things that she had purchased was uh, this, this piece of property, she decided to open a restaurant. And I was coming home from college and needed a job, and so I told her I would do it with her. That was when we opened in January of 1989. Well, what we have found um, is that people you know, love the meat and vegetables, and it's, you know, it's, it's close to home cooking as, as you can almost get here. But also what makes this unique um, is that it's quick serve. That you come in, you can walk through the line, you know, pay up front so you know when it's time to go you can get out of here you know at a very reasonable price. A lot of the recipes came from my mother, uh, my grandmother, and a good bit from my Aunt Gloria. Different people we've had working in and out of the restaurant have tweaked some things and brought some other new things you know over the 26 years. If someone wants to start their own restaurant business I would just tell them to do their research to make sure they've worked in plenty of restaurants to understand what they're getting into and that they really feel called to do it and very passionate about what they want to do. It's really hard work but it can be very rewarding and um, if you enjoy people it's a great business to be in. Well we've said, been here 26 years we certainly pray for that many more and hopefully it'll be another generation. We, we hope to be here you know, even longer and, and grow even more. When I think about the phrase make and made reminds me of the hometown feel of Macon. But, um, it's still just a, a small city where you still run into people you know on a daily basis here in the restaurant, you know, all around. But it's still a city that offers, you know, a lot of different choices and variety and things to do.